Salut à tous, ici Carbon, bienvenue dans cet épisode 9 de The Walking Dead Telltale. Donc la dernière fois on avait filé de la bouffe à plusieurs membres du groupe. Initialement j'avais l'intention de faire juste les femmes et les enfants, c'était pas, une... pas par question de sexisme ou autre, juste que ben euh, biologiquement parlant les femmes tiennent moins bien la... de longues périodes sans manger que... que les hommes, enfin je pense. Et donc, euh, voilà, et puis surtout, ben, je pense que voilà les, les mecs, euh, je pense qu'ils accepteraient mieux que ce soit des femmes qui reçoivent les rations et pas eux, plutôt que voir d'autres mecs et pas eux. Enfin bref, de toute façon, mon choix a été fait, j'ai quand même dû, euh, je ne pouvais malheureusement pas faire ça, puisque Kaja avait les mains dans le sang et euh, Carly n'a pas, pas voulu de ça, de, de ration. Donc, euh, reprenons. Nous sommes prêts à reprendre pour avoir donc euh, si euh, pour avoir donc les conséquences de notre choix je pense enfin, clairement je veux dire il y a il y a Larry dans le groupe évidemment que lui va faire chier parce qu'il a pas eu de bouffe ah Larry qu'est-ce que je ferais sans toi ah bah oui j'irai beaucoup mieux c'est fait j'ai jamais dit que ça l'était. I don't envy you. I don't know how you have the strength to do this every day. I don't have a choice. Hey, thanks for looking out for me and my family. I'm serious about that offer to come with us. You've more than earned a ride on the RV with me. <laughs> Merci. Still, I guess some people aren't going to be happy with your choices. You're out. What happened to my food? Oh, thank you. Je suis au, je suis au gosse. People like this, and your days in this group are numbered. You're one to talk, old man. Yeah. Well, I don't see you working on that wall. Connard. Bon. Besoin de parler à quelqu'un. Venez voir. Max, est-ce qu'il m'en veut, lui? At least the kids have something to keep them occupied. Ouais, les, les joies sont quand même importantes dans, dans un cas de survie apocalypse, surtout pour des gosses. Ça paraît idiot comme ça, mais le fait de jouer, c'est un petit dépresseur. Ben... Board, I'm trying. I, I didn't realize I was getting this week already. Mm. What do you want? A handout? Oh, I got 60 cents in my pocket. If you'll shut up and quit being such a pansy. Quel connard. Bon, je peux pas, j'ai pas le choix de aider, mais. Hey, you holding up okay, Lee? I was pretty fucked up back there, having to cut that guy's leg off. Yeah, mm. I just hope Kaja can save him. <sighs> Sorry, there's, there just wasn't enough food to go around. I understand. Gotta be hard to make those decisions. Just get me next time. Oui, bien sûr. Ça, t'inquiète pas, t'es. <laughs> Je te connais pas beaucoup, euh, Max, il me semble, mais euh, t'es vraiment quelqu'un de sympa. Franchement, ça me ferait plaisir de t'en faire. You ever miss the Air Force Base? I mean, this wall isn't exactly military standard. No way I'm going back there. You saw what it was like when you guys picked me up. Completely overrun. Lily's pretty pissed at us. Listen, I know her intentions are good, but... But nothing! She's making oh. the smart choice. Those ta parasites gueule. you guys brought back need to go. Just ta gueule. Need any help with the wall? Nope. Actually, we could use your axe. Do you mind if we take it? Yeah, give us that thing for a bit. Pfff. Faut te faire foutre la donner la hache à Marc, hein, évidemment. Ah, Marc. C'est pas Max, Marc. Thanks. Hey, I'm the one doing all the work over here. You didn't think to give me the axe? Après que tu essayé de me tuer, je, je me sens pas de te filer une hache. He knows why. Ken, Lee, come here, please. Franchement, depuis la dernière fois que tu essayé de me tuer, je, 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 je suis pas trop d'humeur à te filer une hache. God damn it. I'm getting sick of this shit. Ken, come back. There's nothing. Let him go, Kaja. But he just needs time. It's been a rough morning. That man you brought. I tried, but he was never going to survive. Bon, il avait pas une mentalité de survivant non plus, hein. 
What about the other kid? Asshole. Dad, calm down. You're gonna get us all killed! You said he wasn't bitten! What? We asked you point blank, was he bitten, and you said no! He wasn't! Well, your not bitten friend here came back to life and tried to kill my wife! What? Wait, you all don't know? What the hell are you talking about? Ah, uh, It's not the bite that does it. You come back no matter how you die. If you don't destroy the brain, that's just what happens. It's gonna happen to all of us. Mm. We're all infected? Everyone? I... I guess so. I don't know. I... All I know is that I've seen people turn who I know were never bitten. When I first saw it happen, we were all hiding out in a gym and everybody thought we were finally safe. But one of the girls, Jenny Pitcher, I think, I guess she couldn't take it. She took some pills. A lot of them. Someone went in the girls' room the next morning and... God. Oh, man. Back off! Whoa, lady, relax. Me and my brother, we... We just want to know if y'all can help us out. I said back off! Carly. Are you armed? Yeah. F for protection. Dead could be anywhere. But, uh, mm. I think you got the upper hand here. Why do you need gas? Our place is protected by an electric fence. Generators provide the electricity. Our generators run on gas. Look, we own a dairy farm a few miles up the road. If y'all be willing to it's lower family. your guns, we, we can talk about some kind of trade. How y'all doing on food? We got plenty at the dairy. C'est vrai qu'une ferme, ça c'est cool pour la nourriture. Lee, why don't you and Mark check the place out, see if it's legit. I'm going with you. I got your back if anything seems fishy. Mm, merci. So, uh, what are y'all thinking? Bon, de toute façon, c'est notre meilleure chance. You've got a deal. De toute façon, on n'a pas vraiment le choix. We'll bring choix. some gas to your dairy. In exchange, you give us some food to bring back. We'll see how it goes from there. Sounds fair. A couple gallons should power one of our generators for a while. So, this dairy, <sighs> you guys really have food? Sure do. We lost most of the cattle, but we still have lots of milk, butter, and cheese stocked up. And with the vegetables we grow, we got plenty of food. Bon, en plus, ils ont pas l'air de crever la dalle, donc... Euh, ça a pas l'air d'être du pipo, ce truc. Slowly, anything is starting to get ridiculous. Personally, I'd be happier if you started to take charge more. Moi you think so, you want me for a leader? Sure, everybody looks up to you. Well, yeah. not everyone thinks I'm so trustworthy. Because of your past. Does anyone else know? Larry knows. Great, that can't be easy. Clementine knows. She was there when we were talking in the drugstore and asked me about it. I couldn't lie to her. What exactly did happen with the Senator? Bon, bah, attends, on va être honnête, enfin, je pense. Je pense que j'ai déjà appris sur l'affaire. Parfois, je me demande si je devrais parler avec le groupe. Tu n'as pas besoin. Ce qui s'est passé avant que les choses soient en train de se passer n'est plus important. Je ne suis pas sûr que tout le monde le verrait de cette façon. Peut-être que tu es bien. 
Listen, over the years, I've reported on some pretty messed up shit. I've seen situations like yours a hundred times. It doesn't have to make you a bad man. Mm. Merci. I, uh, I really appreciate that. I mean, thank God Lee oh, no, did. Right, Lee? Yeah, why don't you tell us a little more about yourself, Lee? Where are you from? <laughs> I grew up in Macon. Right here nice in the heart of Georgia. That's what I like to hear. Y'all seem pretty settled in at that motor inn. Uh, who's running things over there? Mm. Je rester we work as a group. All of us looking out for each other. I hear that. There's so many dumbasses out there fighting each other these days. It's just stupid. How many people you got over there anyway? Mm. Enough to defend ourselves. Well, that's good. Getting dangerous out there. Well, pas trop leur côté inquisiteur. well, we'd love to get you all out to the dairy. Like I said, we got plenty of food, and quite frankly, we can always use sujet, extra man. help in hand. In the summers, we can help comprendre. out on a goat farm. Yeah, that's great. Everything helps. Mama's been running the dairy for well, as long as I can remember, but uh, now it's... You getting... think you're going to cut me out of this? Shit, get down. No one's trying to cut you out of anything. You and Gary are always Fucking pulling this shit. bandits. Who? C'est ça les pires? Look like the people who oh, raided man, my camp. Who are they? Fuck you. Fuck you. You knew we were hungry. And are. you guys were keeping it there's up. There's only two of them. Oh no, there's yeah, a lot more. Yeah, you know what? We ate it all. What are you going to fucking do about it? Don't worry. Danny and I got you covered if something happens. But let's just wait this out. I hope they move on. Fuck you! <laughs> Oof. Oh putain! Vrai taré. The world out here has gone to shit. Come on. Il y a quand même des tarés dans ce genre déjà dans notre monde. Bon, par contre, j'espère que le bruit aura pas attiré trop de Walker parce que si si leur ferme se fait attaquer par une par une vague, ça va être un peu la merde. Here it is, St. John Family Dairy. Y'all can see how we kept this place so safe. The fence keeps them out? You betcha, they fry like bugs in a zapper. We're pushing 4,000 volts through that thing with generators and amps. <laughs> I'm going to assume that's a lot. Oui, dis-toi qu'une prise de courant c'est 200 volts, euh, un, un peu plus de 200 volts pour une prise normale. Bon, déjà, euh, ouais, c'est ça. Encore Clémentine, elle est maligne, mais Doc. Guys, this is our mama. I'm Brenda St. John, and welcome to the St. John Dairy. This here's Lee. He's from Macon. A couple of our old farm hands were from Macon. They grow them good there. They got a few more friends staying at the old motel. Oh my goodness, that place is pretty vulnerable. Have you got someone with survival experience to lead your group? Hmm. Well, that's good to hear. That motel ain't the safest place. Now that y'all are here, we'll make sure you're safe and comfortable. Does that also apply to the rest of us? We're all incredibly hungry. These are for y'all. Baked fresh this morning. Amazing. Can't get stuck like that anymore. Not without a cow for milk and butter, that's for sure. That's right. Hopefully Maybelle will make it through this bout of whatever she's got and be with us for a good long while. Your cow is sick? What's she... We have a vet, but we could bring her here. But we can help you folks out. A vet? Oh my! Our prayers have been answered! Maybe our whole group could come. For the day. J'espère que ça va pas faire une vache zombie. Y'all go get your veterinary friend and I'll prepare some dinner. A big feast for all you hungry souls. It'll be nice to have some folks to help out around here. Une vache zombie, ce sera un corps quand même. 
Why don't I head back with the food and round up everyone for the trip over here? Might want to take someone with you. Remember, those roads can be dangerous. I can handle myself. Take this. Why don't you go ahead and take Ben along anyway? Take care of yourself, Lee. See you in a while. Mark, Lee, why don't you take a look around? Once you get settled in, I could use some help securing the perimeter. Is there a problem? Sometimes the dead get tangled up in the fence before they fry and end up knocking over a post. It'd be a big help if you could walk the perimeter. You can learn a little something about our fence. I'm gonna go top off the generators before they run dry. Come get me when you're ready. You betcha. This place is incredible. <laughs> it's got food. And that fence? Oh man, that fence. If we play our cards right, this might turn out to be a place we can stay. So how do you want to play this? Bon, déjà, priorité. Think about bringing our whole group here to stay. We need to figure out if this place is as safe as they're telling us. Right. Obviously, they think it's safe. But is it safe enough for the kids? I noticed a broken swing over there. Not a big deal, but maybe there's other things not working that we just can't see yet. And checking the fence perimeter sounds like a decent way to get a good look at their defenses. All right, I'll keep my eyes open, and you find out what you can from Andy. C'est bien pour prendre vite. Bon. Alors, déjà, check un peu. Qu'avons-nous là? Too bad it's broken. I'll bet Clementine and Duck would have loved something like this to play on. Kids used to like that old swing even more than the tour sometimes. <laughs> I'll bet. Hmm. I'll be great. Got busted the first day those things showed up. Thank God no one was on it at the time. Looks like it just needs a new board for the seat and some rope. Make it safe for Clem and Duck. And let the St. John's know we can pull our weight around here. Donc, ça va falloir trouver un endroit par la bonne soirée pour se faire apprécier. Oh, C'est bien que je sache me débrouiller. Et j'ai récupéré la hache. Cool. Alors. Et toi So, what have you found out? Is this looking like a good place to stay? I'll keep looking around. All right, keep me posted. Okay, so you know that I'm going to go to the house. It's like the house is very intact. I food they've got in there. Hopefully we'll find out. Oh, what's your other kids to say? Andy. Hi. Hi. Well, I'm glad you guys decided to help us out. I noticed back at the motel that you folks are pretty well armed. You've been stockpiling, huh? Hmm. Mm. Scraped together a good supply in the last few months. How about yourselves? What kind of protection do you have around here? We collect Ils sont quand même très instigateurs. Ourselves, but we really only use them when we go off the property. When we're inside the perimeter, the fence is all we need to keep us safe. Hmm. We can't be the first people you've invited up to the dairy. Well, no, we've made similar deals with other folks, uh, trading for gas and food, but ultimately they moved on, looking for the people they lost contact with. Hmm. There you go. I'm gonna get to know the place for a minute. Okay, well, we gotta secure the perimeter, so don't take too long. Bon, et eh bien c'est un rebondissement inattendu. Donc, euh, bon bah du coup, euh, je vous donne rendez-vous à l'épisode 10 de The Walking Dead pour euh, en découvrir plus sur, ces, sur, sur cette ferme, du coup, pour savoir si c'est bien, si ça vaut le coup, etc. Bon, sur les deux frères, ils sont vachement amicaux, mais bon d'expérience, euh, de... si, si tu te fies à quelqu'un juste parce qu'il est amical, tu t'es parti pour te faire entuber pendant très longtemps par beaucoup de monde. Hein. Non, enfin, blague à part, je les... ils sont quand même vachement instigateurs. Alors certes, c'est... 
c'est la norme, j'ai envie de dire, dans un monde de, 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 de ce genre-là, mais quand même, par rapport aux, aux premiers qu'on a trouvés, euh, qui se sont relativement écrasés, qui ont... Euh, qui, qui nous ont appris des trucs, etc. Eux, ils sont quand même... Il euh, y a combien de gens dans ton groupe Vous savez combien d'armes C'est qui le chef des, des questions qui me poussent quand même à me méfier un peu. Mais bon, de toute façon, hein, le futur nous dira euh, euh, dans quelle mesure voilà, il faut leur faire confiance ou non. Nous verrons bien. Donc voilà, sur ce, je vous donne rendez-vous à l'épisode suivant. Allez, ciao tout le monde.